Hello, in this performance video, I am going to show you Super Mario Odyssey how to get it to work 60 frames per second for the Steam Deck on the Sudachi emulator. Yeah, 60 frames per second, no downscaling and upscaling, none of that raw, pure performance. So, first of all, go to emulation, configure. You can set it on a per game basis, but I'll just show you settings in here. So, for system, I'm going to make sure it is set to like some multi core CPU emulation on memory layer 4 gig of RAM, limit speed percentage to 100%. Everything else we can leave as is. In CPU, the accuracy you leave on as auto. In graphics, you want to set, select Vulkan, use disk pipeline cache, use asynchronous GPU emulation for the ASTC decoder method GPU. For VSync mode FIFO, NVDEC emulation, GPU video decoding, full screen mode, exclusive full screen, aspect ratio 16 by 9, resolution 720 by 1080, window adapting filter bilinear, anti aliasing mode is zero. It's not, I should say, in advanced. So this is where we really want, you know, to be precise. Accuracy level, this is the most important one for Super Mario Odyssey. Select normal. Anisotropic filtering, we can have 2x. For ASTC recompression method, low quality, which is BC1. VRAM usage mode, conservative. Enable asynchronous presentation Vulcan only. Disable force maximum clocks. Enable, enable reactive flushing. Disable use asynchronous shader building. Enable use fast GPU time. Enable use Vulcan pipeline cache, disable sync to frame rate of video playback, and enable barrier feedback loops. In audio, you can leave it as auto, auto, auto. If you have any issues, the output engine select to QB. That's it. Or done. So, like I was saying, the most important one that I find most people do trip on in terms of performance, make sure accuracy level is normal. Just again, just follow the whole, uh, you know, in terms of you know settings. Just, but that's the main one. Now, if we launch the game up. Down here, if you can see, don't have it undocked, have it click it, have it selected to handheld. Now bump it into 720p instead of 1080p, so it'll just be a slightly low resolution. Remember, this is 1280 by 800, so 800p, and it still works great. So we got the frame rate down here. I'm going to go full screen. I'm going to turn on my performance monitoring over here because that's a good level and i'm going to click new game and show you some gameplay for about 10 or so minutes five to ten minutes so you can get a very good idea that the performance is 60 frames per second and it is solid so so like i was saying the most important one accuracy level normal Select Vulcan, that will get you the best performance. So I'm going to show you a range of different environments. Some with like the fog in the start of the game. And I'm going to show you where there's water as well. And, you know, transitioning between environments.
There you go, Super Mario Odyssey running at 60 frames per second, gave you about 7 minutes of gameplay, as you can see there were no drops in performance whatsoever, honestly the Steam Deck does not surprise to amaze me, it, it, it's always, like the performance and the value proposition, I've tested games on the Steam Deck, you know, Switch in Switch emulation, that run better than on my ROG Ally X. That's insane. Like this system, like the base one compared to the ROG Ally X is almost a third of the price. And you know, used you can get these real cheap. Yeah, the value proposition, especially for emulation, fantastic. So that's Super Mario Odyssey. If you'd like to see other videos, let me know. What you would like to see next. If you you know like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified of future videos. Stay tuned for my Patreon page for all good stuff like BIOS files and ROM download locations and how to get all, all different stuff and to help support me. So stay tuned for that. Let me know what else you would like to see and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.